Hello YouTube! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Yaesu FT991 Alpha to the latest firmware. In my previous video about the 991A firmware update, for some reason I used the older firmware. So now I'm going to show you the proper way to update the firmware on your 991A. To view your latest firmware, you need to push the A equals B and the A slash B at the same time while turning on the radio. We're going to put the radio in program mode. Currently my situation, I have the radio connected to an external battery and it's going to use the power poles. And what we need to do is we're going to turn off the radio. I'm going to unplug the power pole. I'm going to press the TXW and the split at the same time and connecting the power poles. In other words, turning on the power supply. Let's go to the Yaesu website. Utilizing your web browser, just type in Yaesu products, HF transceivers, 991 alpha, files. Scroll down to the bottom and download this firmware. Click on it and allow it to download. These are the cables that we'll be using today. It's the USB-A that's going to be connected to the laptop and then the USB-B cable this is going to be connected behind the 991A. Go to your downloads folder. We're going to extract the downloaded firmware. Right mouse click extract all. We're going to extract it to my downloads folder. Okay, it says 991A firmware. So double click on that. We're going to utilize the mains first. So let's do the mains first. And it's, it does say 991A. Double click. And the application, we're going to execute this application. Just double click on that. Okay, we are configured to COM port 4. This is version 2.04 and let's write. It's now writing to the 991A. The display is currently dark. So there's no display on the radio itself. All right, confirm OK, click OK. Let's uh, close the program. Now let's do the DSP firmware. Go back to your downloads folder under your firmware and we're looking for DSP and execute the application. Click on write. Okay, so we have a problem with the COM port. So look at this instructions here. So it says first disconnect the DC cable. Okay, it's disconnected. Number two is connect a USB cable. So I'm going to disconnect the USB cable. All right. And then reconnect it. Next is connect the DC cable to the transceiver. Okay. I, I connected the power source back to the radio and turn the external power supply unit power on. Now the next step is to press and hold the power key while pressing the F plus the menu plus the band keys on the radio. So, okay. So I'm going to turn on the radio while holding those three keys. Okay. The radio comes on. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to try to rewrite it. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if it works. It looks like they're communicating so you can see that there is progress going on 
what I'm looking now on the radio itself is the Yesu logo only. Confirm OK. Click OK and close. While we're pushing down the FM list, the band and the mode, we're going to power on the unit at the same time. So let's see if I can do that. So what's indicating here is VFOA is illuminated red. If you ever get stuck, you have the step-by-step -step instructions. It's located in your firmware and it's right here. So double click on that and you have the step-by-step -step instructions if you get stuck. So we're here right now and in the TFT firmware, make sure you download the Microsoft Net Framework 3.5 and install that. So you can do a search on your web browser. And the next step is to confirm that the radio is turned off, which it is. Then disconnect the DC cable and all other cables from the transceiver unit. Okay, so I got the USB cable disconnected as well. Step two says connect the transceiver unit USB terminal, all right, and the personal USB port via a standard commercial cable that's reconnected. And uh, it says here the 991A virtual COM port driver must be installed before connecting the USB cable, which I it's already installed. Now I'm going to it doesn't tell me to put the DC power, but I want to put the DC cable back in. And I'm going to push the power on while holding the FM list plus the band key plus the mode button. So push all three of those and turn on the unit. All right, so now that we're at this part here where we have the VFO A illuminated now it's time to execute the tfw file so let's minimize this click the tfw i'm utilizing com4 select the file highlight the file click open and update the radio is currently showing you and update progress as well as on the computer screen. Once the TFT firmware is complete, this is what you get. Click OK and end the process. We're now going to do the C4 FM firmware update. We're going to push the FM list the menu setup and the mode at the same time while powering on the unit. You will notice that under the VFO A, it's now the left side that's lit up, the green. Go to your downloads folder and look for PC tool. Double click on that. Double click the application PC tool. Select your COM port. I'm using COM port four. Click OK. And read these here. Connect the cable to the data terminal and PC. Check. Number two, connect the external power to the transceiver. Check. Number three, turn on the transceiver on in the C4M DSP F slash W write mode. Check. That's what we just did with those three buttons. And then after the preparation procedure above, click the update button. We're going to update. It's going to give you this warning here. It says, please check the version number DSP version 4.15 to the version 4.15. 
click OK to update. So I already have the correct version or the latest version, but I'm going to click OK just for demonstration purposes of updating your firmware. So let's do that now. Once it established communications, it's going to take, uh, I don't know, maybe about three to four minutes to update. Okay, it's done. Not even one minute. All right, it says firmware update is complete. Click OK. We already did all this. Click Exit. All right, that's it. And let's go verify the firmware update is complete. Push the A equals B, A slash B together while powering on the radio. And those are the up-to-date versions. DSP version 1.12, main version 2.04, TFT version 2.0, and a C4FM version 4.15. Those are the updates that was released on June 2020. Well, I hope this video gave you a little bit more clarification and we used the right file this time for the Yaesu 991A firmware update. Please consider to subscribe to my channel if you like it. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have any difficulties, leave me a comment and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Till next time, have a great day.